Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and this video I'll be giving you my tips for the racing at Chantilly over in France tomorrow but before I get stuck into those just a couple of announcements I want to make. First of all um, we're going to be changing the format of my tips here on my YouTube channel. We're going to be scrapping the Lucky 15 and the Each Way Lucky 15 for single bets. It's something that um, just I thought about doing in the last uh, few days really. It's quite hard now um, especially in this current climate of where it's uncertain doing these um, multiple bets and trying to get some big winnings from them it's a difficult ask and you've got to have a lot of things go right for you to succeed at them so i thought we'll just revert back to singles for now and see how it goes now i was doing this towards the end of last year and i carried it over as well into january and february and we were going okay we were doing um uh formats called uh Loader's Logic, which was basically my nap, the Loader Lot, which was a double, and Loader's Long Shot, which speaks for itself. Um, we were having quite a bit of success, like I said, and we're going to go back to that system. And if you've been following me for a long time, you would have known that I used to work for a, pun uh, a YouTube channel called The Punters Page. And I was with them for 20 months, I think it was, 19, 20 months, something like that. And for every um, month I was with them, I used to record my statistics at the end of the month and we used to carry it over. And with every month I was with them, I never had a loss making month. I was in profit every single month. So I had a really good record with them. And uh, like I said, I never came out with a loss in any month. It was all good. But all those um, statistics were compiled of best odds uh, guaranteed or the odds at the current time of recording. And I always used to upload them the night before. And that's what I'll be doing in this video. We'll just see how it goes towards the end of May. But my plan is to uh, do some statistics from the 1st of June. And we'll measure it from then and see how, see how we go. And hopefully by the 1st of June, we'll know if uh, the racing in the UK will be resuming. So uh, that's how it's going to work in the future. And I'll be giving you three tips for tomorrow's racing. Now, just before I give you those as well, sorry for waffling on, uh, but I just want to announce that I released a brand new episode on my uh, podcast uh, platforms today of In The Saddle podcast. If you're not aware of it, go and check it out. There'll be links to it in the description box below where I interviewed legendary racing journalist, Bruff Scott. We spoke about how racing has evolved in the mainstream media over the years and where it could be potentially heading in the future. And it was really interesting to get his thoughts and opinions on that. And like I said, if you want to listen to that, check out the description box below. But enough of me, like I said, uh, talking about that. Uh, we'll get straight into the business end of things. And our first tip tomorrow is going to be my nap runs in the 10.30. And this is a, has been seen by some to be a possible trial for the French 1,000 guineas. And my nap tomorrow is going to be a horse called Samine, which is currently 11 to 8 shot. That's available with Paddy Power and Betfair, trained by Jean-Claude Rouget and top jockey Christophe Soumion is put for the ride. Now, this horse is going to be in the colours of the Aga Khan. And there was a horse that was running at St. Cloud today that had a similar profile in the fact that they were unbeaten and they were well fancied with the same owners, but they bombed out and... I think, to be honest, that's the difficulty, especially with French racing coming out of the lockdown, is we've got a lot of horses that are either coming off off a long break or potentially are unraced, and we have no trainer or jockey form, so it's quite hard to really gather like those statistics that can normally be so vital. Uh, but I think Samine is the class act here, and she could definitely make a case for her um, bid to maybe go for the French 1000 guineas. She's two from two so far. She's a Lope de Vega filly, and she's actually a half sister to uh, Zarafina, who was a Group 1 winner in these colours. So she's got a classy pedigree. She's bred to go further than this, potentially could get a mile and a half in time. But I think Samine is a class act here. She won on heavy ground before, so the soft conditions at Chantilly that are uh, predicted should be no problem. And I just think Samine in the small field, she's got a lot to um, to offer. And I don't really fancy too much of the opposition. And Jean-Claude Rouget's horses were running quite well at saint Cloud today after a bit of a slow start at Longchamp on Monday. So for me, with all the connections, ticking the boxes, and also as well at uh, the pedigree standing up, I think this horse has got a good future and I think she'll win tomorrow and that's why she's going to be my nap even though she is a short price but uh, that's going to be my tip there we then go to the 112 a group three the feature race on the card and I think this looks quite a competitive little affair but I thought Wooded could be worth a chance here in the colours of Al Shukabab racing around about nine to two shot and you can get four places 
with uh, coral and lab brooks. This will be my next best. And I'm going to recommend the old classic dirty each way bet here. And this horse is trained by Francois Henri Graffard and Pierre Charles Bordeaux. Arquin and Jockey is but for the ride. Now, this horse was a good two year old um, and did quite well. Was running in group races, finished in th uh, third place in a group race at Song Clue last time out behind a horse of Charlie Appleby's called King's Command, uh, for good, which is a Godolphin horse. Now, that horse has now got a rating of 112. And I was um, on the Race and Central YouTube channel the other day with the likes of Josh Stacey, Joe Tuffin, and Andrew Blair White. And we were talking about the Godolphin string. And this one, when I was doing my research for this, slipped through the net. I think King's Command could potentially have the makings to be a top quality sprinter and could be appearing in, likes, uh, appearing in races such as the likes of the Commonwealth Cup. Maybe if they ever do go ahead this year. But uh, I think Woodard's got some nice form in the bag. Has gone well on uh, testing ground before. And I think this horse could be a classy act and could go well this season. And I think Woodard at 9 2, he's short with some firms. If you can still get that price, I'd definitely be jumping on a dirt each way bet there, that price. And like I said, he's going to be my next best, and I can see him running a really good race. We then go my long shot. Now, this isn't going to be the biggest long shot I ever tip up. He's around about a 7 or 1 shot with bookmakers at the moment. You can get five places with many firms, including the likes of Sky Bet, Paddy Power, Betfair, loads of them all doing um extra places and this horse is trained by Pia Brandt who's actually a Swedish trainer something I learned recently when I was doing a podcast about Swedish racing and Maxim Guion is but for the ride one of the top French jockeys over there now this horse is running a pattern company before running listed and group races and I think uh, stepping back into handicap company is a really good uh, move by connections now, he will be carrying top weight, but he's a classy horse. He used to be trained by Andrew Bolden when he was trained over here previously. And he's going to be running over this correct trip, which will be six furlongs for him. Um, he's a previous winner on soft ground. He's gone well fresh before. I think at 7 1, he's a very good each way play. I can see him making the, the frame, and I think he could still win the race at 7 1. So for me, he's going to be my long shot, and uh, hopefully that will round off a good day for us. So if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button below for more tips here on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter as well using my handle at LuckyLoaders15. Check out my website as well, which is www.chrisloaderacing.co.uk. I'll put all the links as well to the podcast in the description box below. Please gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon.